welcome to the next edition of Digital Media Ninjas. Starring Ben Choder and Ivan Schlachter, my co-host. Ivan, why don't you pop your video in here and say hi to everybody. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Ivan, how are you today? Right, today's topic, Ivan, you know what I really wanted to do and what I wanted to focus on was well, let's pick 10 books, vlogs, blogs, tips that every digital sales ninja needs to know. All right, so these are little tips that I follow, right? Besides, you know, knowing how to sell, following up with your customer, staying in touch with your customer, engage, 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 engage. But that's not what today. Today I'm not teaching you how to sell. I'm just saying I want to give you some resources. We're going to do lots of others on how to better engage with your customers, how to close better with your clients, how to deliver better content, and we're digital media experts, right? So this is like, what should we know? So I want to start off with one quick fact. Ivan, can you go to the first slide, man? So this is what's pretty cool. Oh, I got to go to the slide. I am the slide man, not Ivan. All right, interesting fact. CEOs read on the average of 50 books a year. That's right, 50 books a year, almost one book a week. That's 350% more than the average American. Think about that. You need, if you're going to be a CEO, you got to work harder, and, or if you want to be an excellent salesperson, you got to work harder than your competition, you got to stay on top of it, and you got to engage, 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 engage. Read, 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 listen, watch, use your time. Take 30 minutes a day and either read a chapter, listen to something, look at something online. It's really that simple, but you got to do it if you're going to be the best in anything. If you want to be an opinion leader and if you want to be a champion. You agree with that, Ivan? I do agree. You know what? Commuting it takes a lot of my time, about a half an hour a day. I listen to audio or audibles from yep. Amazon. You get books on tape. It's great. I, I think it's amazing. All right. Yeah. All right. So here's one. We're going to start with the video, but he's also an author. He's written a bunch of books, but he also has great vlogs, vlogs, videos on YouTube. He's really into Instagram these days. It's Gary Vandercheck and Chuck's, and he's he's amazing. All right. He started off with the Wine Library. He's all about staying engaged with your customers, staying on top of it, always working harder than the next guy. You know. The power of one, he's really believed, always, always be engaging. It doesn't matter if there's one person in the audience or 500 people in the audience, but you got to check him out. He does these daily programs. He answers questions. He's built a company from nothing to hundreds of employees. He built his father's wine shop from a small wine shop into part of one of the largest in the world. He's done amazing things. He's really engaging. He's the greatest self-promoter. If everyone could do a little bit of what Gary does, you guys will be successful, but check him out. He's the only one that actually has more energy than you, Ben. No, no. He makes me look... Oh, absolutely. Oh, he, I work maybe 18 hours a yeah. day. He's on 22 hours oh. a day. The guy is amazing. Been, he's another Jersey boy like Ivan and I, um, but he's really fascinating. You should check it out. His history is really good, and what he does is really good, but check him out all over. He's everywhere. Facebook, Instagram. Obviously, on YouTube, he works with a lot of the most amazing companies in America, and he helps them with their digital media strategy, their SEO, and it's, it's pretty amazing. All right, first book, everyone's got to look at. This is my, one of my favorite authors, Malcolm Gladwell. Um, the Outliers and Blink are two amazing books. There's lots of debate which one's better. Blink is an amazing book. Every sales guy should read it, but everyone should read Outliers. It's all about the 10,000 rule. What makes someone the best in what they do? And part of this is we want to make you digital media ninjas, sales ninjas. How are we going to do this to you? You're going to learn what the best in anything do to become the best. Ivan, have you read this one? No, I have not, Ben. Then you better read it. By the time we come back for next week's episode, I want you to be an expert on this. Talk about the 10,000 hours you need to put into something? Yeah. To be an expert? Yeah. yeah. I love okay. that. Okay. Yeah. It's amazing. You know, yeah. Best basketball players, 10,000 hours of three throws, right? Sure. Or 10,000 rule, yeah. 10,000 three throws. It's amazing, but it goes into business too. To be the best, you got to spend your time doing it. And what I say to you, if you guys are out there selling streaming media, as an example, you got to use the technology. Do what we're doing. Get online. Who cares if only one person sees it? But it's going to make you the best. It's going to make you better engaging with your customers when you can relate to what they're doing. All right. Also, huge, huge, huge fan of LinkedIn. If you're going to be in sales, period, right? This is the place incredible articles, incredible opinion leaders, great, the best Rolodex ever to network and market, great groups, join it, spend 10, 15 minutes a day on it. It is worth it. And again, you said, oh, it's just another social media. No, this is business social media. 
you got to do it. You got to join, you know, networking groups. You got to go out there and go to meetups. You got to network, network, network. The only way you're going to exceed in selling is if by networking. Besides other things, you got to have a good product, you got to give good delivery, and you better have really good service. But engage with LinkedIn. It's there. Most of it's free. You can engage with people, you can learn. I love it. Speaking of LinkedIn, didn't we just get our first, first uh, ninjas posted? Yes. Reposted. We actually yeah. did a, a ninja on travel. And guess what? People on LinkedIn were passing it around. Yeah. Kind of like that. It's about social media, right? How are you going to get your word out? But again, engage with your customer. Learn about your customer. Don't ever go meet a customer unless you link them first. You know, find out some information about them and the company. Know it. You out there looking for a job, greatest place to find a job. All right, let's go to another book. All right, so here's, here's a book people should know. Ivan has read this book. Uh, Ivan, I have not book. read this book. Why should our audience read this you know, book? I love this book. It's called uh, Extreme Ownership. It's how the, the U.S. Navy SEALs, they lead and win. So it's really cool the way it's done. It actually has, uh, it's got the two Navy SEALs talking about their experiences on the battlefield and then, then the decisions that they make and they relate it to the business world. Oh, so they engage it into yeah. what we're doing in our day-to-day. -day. Yeah, so, really ooh, cool. ah, this is awesome. Uh, it's awesome. So if there's a problem, instead of blaming people, they say, you might want to take a look at yourself because that's usually where the problem is. Even though we think it's somebody else, we could probably solve it by looking at ourselves and stand by our decisions and right. lead by example. And sales is a war. Oh. It's not a battle. It's all about little victories going forward. Huge, huge believing yeah. in this. Own every problem, own every decision you make. All right, The Ultimate Sales Machine by Chet Holmes. Great book. Teach you a lot of fundamentals about selling. Ivan, have you read this one? I have not. You have another one on your list. I know. But this is a really good book to li listen. There are thousands of sales and sales motivation books. Most of them are really good. A lot of them are common sense. So you just got to pick a couple and read it. Just learn, walk away with one or two principles from each book or each video you watch or each audio. It's all you need. And try to use the principles you learn in your day. You know, be effective sales, incredible follow-up, very knowledgeable, be an expert, make yourself an opinion leader. Truly, truly believe in this. Um, all right, so here's one that I've never done, but I, but I think is pretty amazing. Toastmasters is an organization <coughs> that teaches you how to do public speaking. So Ivan, before he got into sales, was a techn technologist, streaming media technology, digital media technology, but before he took the role of selling, he said to himself, I have to get better at talking to people in public. So Ivan, tell us, give me three things that you love about Toastmasters wow. and why everyone out there who believes they're going to be in a digital media sales business or anyone who's already in a sales business, why do they need it? Okay, so if you, if you have problems speaking publicly, you, have, you fear it or you're just not good at it, you need to join Toastmasters. It'll boost your confidence. It's going to, you can network with people in there Every meeting, you're going you're gonna to meet like-minded people. You network with them. Actually, I just found someone within with Samsung, so we're going to go after that. I'm going to get names from the marketing. And so hold on. So not only are they teaching you how to speak in public, all different yes. people engage. Yes. It's small groups, big groups, and it's about networking. Yeah. Keep in mind, everything you do, always, always be networking. I don't believe everywhere you should go, you should always be selling. You know, that big line, close, close, be aggressive. Don't be the car salesman. Engage with people. People like to work with people they like and they trust. It's been that way from the beginning of time, and it will always be that way. you got to have a good product, but i got to believe that you're going to fall on the sword for me if I'm going to give you a business, and that's what we want to help to teach you guys. When I, when I first joined, I did not like public speaking, but I actually look forward to going to the meetings yeah, you're now. You're actually good it. at it, man. You're I'm, doing a good job at tonight, it. Tonight, I'm actually, I have a meeting tonight, right. eighth speech tonight. All right. Yeah. Can't wait to hear about it on our next show. Yeah, there you go. All right. Agile Selling. Um, Jill has wrote a good book. This is our, our first female, and she's written an amazing book. What's great about agile selling is just like you think. You gotta be lean, you gotta be quick, you gotta be able to move. Selling isn't about, take this, I wanna sell these. It's not the old day of pencils, how many and what color. That's out the window, man, it doesn't work like that. Learn about your clients, be able to move fastly, fast, not fastly, move fast and make changes. But always, always be engaging with your customer. Totally believe in that. And again, we're not showing you every book, these are some books, and all these books are available on Amazon. A lot of them come as audible audio tapes, too. How to Win Friends and Influence People, all right? Oldest book probably in the world on it by Dale Carnegie. Published in 1936. Everyone should read it. This is what it's about. Maybe not the same tactics that it used to be, but this is a book I think we both read, right? Yes. And what's really great about it is it's true. you got to be able to make friends. you got to be able to influence people, and people have to be able to trust you. And that's the bottom line of sales. 
trust, 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 and knowledge. I still think you need to be a true expert in it and passion. You, here's the one thing no book can teach you, passion. Have passion about it. If you don't believe it in your heart, there's no way you're going to convince anybody else to do to believe it. So to me, that, Ivan, is probably the most important thing. What do you like about the book real quick? You know, it, it lets you reach your, and maximize your potential. It actually lets you win the friends, win the business without uh, arousing resentment, which is, Good. you know, it's really hard to do these days. It's true. It really is. And again, all we want to do in this series is give you little tips on how to be better in digital media, how to be better in everything you do, how to become a ninja. And to us, what a ninja is, is how do you do things in a really good, clean, honest way that's going to show results in the end. All right. It teaches you how to talk to people, whether it be managers. Yep. But you know what? Even if you've read the book, reread it because it's worth reading maybe once a couple years because it's, the, yep. it's very intuitive, but you forget. Yep. So. All right. And now here's another one. The power of vulnerability. All right? Everyone needs to be a little vulnerable. Have yeah. you read this one yet? I, I have, yes. Okay, so, and what I truly believe in this, all right, you can't really engage everyone. If you're, when you're selling something, they want to believe you're an expert, right? They want to believe you're a champion. They want to believe you have their back, but they also want to believe that you're human. Right. So what I walked in when I read this book is, it's okay, right? Be who you are. I like to buy from people I like that have really good product. You, Ivan? I do, absolutely. Okay. It teaches you how to be a wholehearted person, which, it gives you passion. It gives you. It, it makes passion. you genuine. There it is, man. Passion. I want to write a book called Passion. It's all about the art of selling with passion. All right, believe in it. Make it fun. Have yes. fun with it. All right. So here's one. Uh, Grant Cardone. He's written, but he's also really big on YouTube too. He also does a lot of lectures. <coughs> and what I like about Grant is he makes it really common sense, and he has a really great way of presenting. Have you walked away with anything? Have you, do you remember anything he said? I do. Yeah. What has he said? Uh, he's got a lot of great quotes. But Give me one. My favorite quote is, offer so much to the people you work for that they worry that they're not paying you enough. So whoever thinks like that, but that is the truth, right? Yeah. But it goes back to everyone's looking like, what's the easier way to work? Right. How do I work yeah. less and gain more? Throw that out the window, man. Yeah. This is, it's, it's, ne it's never worked and it never will work. Hard work. If you're an entrepreneur and you're going to start a business, don't think about how you're going to exit the business. Think of how I'm going to make money in the business. Think of how we're going to turn this into a real business. I, am, I want to make myself so valuable to my clients that they will never go anywhere else, even for better price. That's what this is all about. Any other thing you remember from it off the top of your head? Uh, a couple. I like, I like how he says he's, uh, his personality is so contagious, he's almost like a disease. I like that yeah, in, a, in a nice so way. He's so positive. He's such a positive guy. Cool. All right. So obviously we can't do every book and every blog, but there's a, there's, a, there's a link on this site right now, right, called blogmatrix.org. Look at it. It basically tracks all different blogs, and it tracks sales motivation blogs, and it shows you what's out there. It tells you what's good. It has a little scoring system. I think it's really good. Blogs are really good. It helps you engage with someone. Find an author that you like. And then again, remember, not every book is meant for everybody. Not every television show is meant for everyone. Not every motivational speaker. Not everyone's style is meant for everyone. Find your style, but become the best at what your style is. And so, you know, as, as we wrap this up, Ivan, I just want everyone to remember, it's really, really, really important that you become the best you can be. You never stop learning. You never stop getting educated. And you never stop caring about your clients. And to me, if you can do that, then you're on your way, Ivan, to become a what? Sales ninja, a digital media ninja. A sales ninja. That's all we want to do. Every week, we're going to be back here giving you other tips. Some you're going to like, some you're not going to like. It's okay. Just stay engaged. Send us your tips. We'd love to hear them. I'd love, love to, to bring them. people on the show, Ivan. Oh, I would love to yes, hear what their topics is. I mean, that's what it's all about. Yes. You tell us how to become a better sales ninja. And so from Ben and Ivan, you say the final words, Ivan. Cuckoo, cuckoo. That's, that's your final words. <laughs> All right. Those are Ben's final words. <laughs> I used to use that as my tagline. I'll never use that anymore. What, because what are your new final now. words? My final words are just be the best you can be. Be the best you and can be. And success will come your way. I promise you. <laughs>